as you see, my studio is a complete wreck and that's kind of how it goes. I know at the first of this year, which by the way, I'm filming this, well, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so the day before Christmas Eve of 2023. So at the beginning of this year, I filmed a video of me cleaning and getting the studio ready. And then I filmed consistently every week and had a video up every Monday. I tried to do the consistent thing that everyone talks about that creators on YouTube should do so their channel blows up. Well, life happens. And that has been the beauty of me and myself as an artist through the years of my family and my children come first and then my art secondary. And that's been the flexibility through the years of me being a homemaker. I'm in the studio today here by myself as if I'm talking like there's people in my studio all the time. So I'm processing things and getting ready to transform on into the new year, which unfortunately, I hate to say it, but by the time you see this video, it will be the new year. And that's another part of life. But I have hope which I hope that you do have hope as well if you are a creator, no matter what magnitude, you know, uh, whether you are a painter, abstract, mixed media, you're a songwriter, you like to cook, any type of creator. You could be someone who creates in the garden, outside, I don't know. Transforming over into the new year, which will be 2024, I have hope that new things are going to form here in the art studio, but I don't want to let numbers um, on my YouTube channel distract me or reflect what I've got going on because... I'm in the process of narrowing down what I take in, whether it be audio, visual, you know, from one media to the next social media, my impact and reading and being in God's word and listening to his voice for this season of my life. And so I'm just, while I'm here in the studio, I want to just share what's kind of going on in my mind and my heart as I prepare for this new year going into being in the studio. Let me just say this, I'm glad that you're here. I hope when you show up and hang out with me here in the studio, you don't think that you have to be put together 100%, that you don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to be doing something full time. You don't have to be doing something because the numbers show that you're doing it. You see, if I waited on everything to be put in place or if I waited for somebody to ooh and ah over my creativity or my work or have the highest numbers in sales or what have you, then I'd still be waiting. I was one of the children in school that loved art once I was in, I guess it was junior high or high school and when you started having to have these electives, I gotta make sure you're on. Yeah, you're there. <laughs> so I had to uh, start taking an elective in uh, school, and I remember taking art for the very first time, and I loved it. It just did something to my soul, which transformed me into remember sitting on the couch even prior to then, and just having a bucket of markers and just creating and loving it, and you know, to what most people would look at it, it really probably was not good looking, okay? Then taking that class in school, I knew that's where my my love for art formed and I wanted to be able to do art for the rest of my life. Well, I never ever won an award in school for art. I was never ever recognized for my artwork. Now that we're venturing off down a little rabbit hole of 
just trying to get back in the studio here as the new year. I hope of some way of things that I've shared this far, it gives you some hope and encouragement where you are on your journey. I'm excited to continue this out and start getting more videos out for you, but I'm also really excited to see what I create in the studio and how that's gonna look and what my filming schedule is going to look like or what my type of film is going to be. I've been sitting and reminiscing over what to create or, you know, letting things inspire me just as much as I've been staying out of the media or off Pinterest or whatever because it's good to have inspiration, but you can, in a blink of an eye, be taking in so, so much that what's originally in you is being blurred and distracted. So let's carry out this journey together of 2024 and getting a kickstart off. You know, so whenever you're seeing this, whatever part of 2024 or beyond, I hope you find some encouragement. So I'm gonna spend a little time tinkering in the studio. I've got a few things I'm working on and I'll let you kind of watch and see how messy this place is. That's one of my biggest, biggest problems is mind for the studio to get messy but man I sure function better when it's not messy and like I said whenever I dropped off of not filming anymore um, and, and uploading things just kind of got crazy in here and life gets busy I always said that when my children got older I was gonna have more time for me I was gonna have more time for my creations no, the older they get and the more my family grows, the less and less time I have in the studio. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying the true logistics because i that's what I'm a firm believer in is um, sharing the truth and honesty of where we are in life and how things transpire. Because if we aren't honest and just really lay it out there, then... How is anyone who's trying to connect with us through our creativity or through our time in our studios or whatever, how are they going to connect and realize that their life is not an epic fail either? Life is busy. I want to be and just be out in the middle of the woods somewhere and not ever have to deal with anything, but sometimes that's not the way life goes. Here's to continuing on in the studio and not focusing on what wasn't done and focusing on what was done and not comparing ourselves to people and not worrying about what all these little people that create these videos say that we should be doing on YouTube to be successful. Because let me tell you something, I've been in enough groups and realms of people from one social media to the next paid products to be in groups, whether it be in writing, photography, filmmaking. Each one of them has this set guideline in order for you to get to the top. That just doesn't happen for everyone, okay? And I've slowly retracted from those kind of things because I just feel like there's more to life and there's more uh, that I feel like the Lord's trying to tell me, and if I keep trying to do those things, I'm just going to be distracted for where he's got me at. And I'm like spinning my wheels and getting frustrated at what these people want me to be doing. Break free and don't hold on to what you think the expectations of people have on you for you to be successful at whatever you're trying to do. No matter what season of life you are in, no matter if you have children, if you have young children, middle, grown, grandchildren, no matter, no matter what you're doing. All right, let's get busy. Let's get rolling. <laughs> 